Tonight, I will show you some videos of presentations just to show you what a good presentation is like on video, not in, not in the classroom face to face, but on video. So just to encourage you that you can do this and you can do a good job if you plan ahead. Okay, I'm happy to give further comments on your projects. I have created a Kahoot session tonight, 12, uh, 16 questions, two questions for every group about the group assignment. How does that help you? Well, I want you, all of you, to be more aware of what are all the assignments that others are doing. This might help you in the future. Number one, maybe there's a job opportunity in the future that is in an area that Another group did a project on. Ah, oh yeah, I know. Um, yeah, Adgay done stuff on tires. Mm, I'm interested in getting to know that industry because I got to go to the, do this job interview or something. Bang, all right, I'm gonna contact that group because I know they did a project in that area, all right? So this is about getting to know some of the other projects that you have done. So we're gonna have a Kahoot session on that. We'll have a Kahoot session. I think 12 questions that reviews the course. So we go over some of the ideas again. Why do we do that? Because maybe just one of you decides, ah, oh, forget about this corporate thing, this career thing. Uh, I'm going to sell on Amazon. I'm going to give it a go. I've got nothing to lose. O'Connor's given us the building blocks to look out for the do's and don'ts in sourcing even if we source on Alibaba's site and then we sell on Amazon. Ah, at least I'm going to make less mistakes. I've got the basic things I need to take care of. Even O'Connor has taught us how to go and get a quotation of many suppliers and, and what questions we should be asking for. Ah, and I should be at ease now because I don't feel like negotiating with suppliers over price. I've never felt like that. It, I want to be better than that. Oh, I'm glad O'Connor taught us in negotiation that we shouldn't be focusing on that anyway. Ah, you know, so there's stuff in this first half of this unit that can help one of you who may decide in the future to, I want to try this thing. I want to try this selling on Amazon. I want to try this selling on Lazada. Or maybe I want to partner with someone to do that. And now I have a little bit more confidence based on what O'Connor has showed us. Oh, some of you may be thinking, oh, that's not for me, that first half. The second half, I'm more interested in the corporate. It's career, a little bit more safer. Yeah, but I'm still interested in supply chain because I know that supply chain, especially in Southeast Asia, especially in China, India, it's only going to grow. As much as we're talking about reshoring back to the USA, it's still going to grow in Asia. By 2025, Asia, China, India region, it's going to be the biggest economy region in the world, if not by 2023. This is going to be big, all right? So yes, we need to be aware of the consumer, but also more critically, the consumers in this region are going to become more demanding over the quality of goods that you are selling on Lazada, on Shopee, on Amazon, on Alibaba, whatever platform you're using, the consumers are going to become more and more picky. So even though today they're focusing on price compared to USA consumers, European consumers, that's not always going to be that way. So what did Neil talk about? He talked about this semester. Later in the semester, we talked about how procurement teams as part of MMCs spend a lot of time to make sure they have systems in place to make sure that multinationals with their large volume of sourcing do not make mistakes. Let me repeat. The biggest challenge that multinationals have is, what did we cover? Their biggest challenge was their what? Reputation risk. 
Reputation. Reputation. Yes, their reputation. So critical. Ah, so how do you protect reputation? You've got to have the systems in place. What did David talk about last week? It's not the culture, stupid. It's the systems. It's the systems that we put in place. And what did he say? It's very simple. You've got to have the Simpsons to source. I want good quality. I want delivered by a certain time. For multinationals, it's more critical because their reputation is at stake. So if you apply to become part of a multinational, this course <coughs> helps you to be more, what, you, what would you say, more sensitive to these little issues. Because when you go into a job interview, they might ask you, oh, have you worked in a procurement team before? No, but I do know some of the key issues surrounding modern day supply chains. And, oh, where did you learn that? Well, we did global supply chain management, but that wasn't a, a normal university course. This was Dr. O'Connor's unit. Oh, who's he? Oh, it doesn't matter. But what he taught us was stuff that is really happening in 2019, 2020. He talked to us about how COVID is affecting supply chain. He talked to us about how procurement teams, they have challenges in managing multiple suppliers. They have challenges in managing the quality. And in order to address these challenges, they have systems in place. They use performance measurement and they are forever monitoring the supply. Wow. Wow. You, you, know, you know all about that and you haven't worked in this industry? Well, you know, got to learn somewhere. And so for one or two of you, this content will help you in your job search, especially if it's in a supply chain. And for me, I tell you, I would get no more joy than for you to tell me in one month, in six months, in three years time, to say that some of the content of this unit has helped you progress in your career. Seriously, that's all I care about. That's the most number one thing I care about. Okay, I, I probably can't help all of you. You're in different stages. You took this as an elective because they said, oh, Dr. O'Connor's course, oh, I'm not interested in supply chain, but the course is interesting. So you took that. Okay, that's fine. But some of you are really interested in a career in supply chain. I really hope, if not this year, next year, year after, that you can get plugged in to a career in the supply chain area. And this course may officially be over after the end of tonight or after the end of the assessment assessment or after you graduate but it's not over until i see you achieve what you want to achieve and that's all i what that's what i care about having said that that's why i i welcome you to contact me for further coaching or further advice whether it's career advice or specific industry advice or even just to connect to connect through LinkedIn or to connect with other people in a particular industry so you can try and create more opportunities for yourself. Because one thing for certain, compared to 12 months ago, uncertainty has gone off the scale. And I'm not surprised that some of you may be thinking, wow, there's no hope. There's no hope this year. Maybe there's no hope next year. And I just have to wait. Well, I'm here to tell you there is hope. There are different ways of knocking on the door. There are different ways of reaching out. There is different ways of creating opportunities. I can't tell you about all of them tonight, but I'm happy to have a Zoom call with you where we can talk about or go through all the different options that you think are relevant to your future. Okay, so with that, I just want you to keep that in mind. I'm not here and our relationship, our the value added I want to give you does not end tonight. Okay.